Front row on the May here at Cage Warriors 73, the Metro Radio Arena in Newcastle with the new featherweight champion of the world. Alex Edlund, how does that sound? Uh, it sounds pretty good. I got a little bit emotional when I won it, you know. It's kind of been my, my biggest achievement so far in my life. It's Today's the biggest day of my life. I woke up this morning, I was like so emotional, so overwhelmed, all the messages I got. I was like, had a little little tear at myself, I had to go and hide. Because um, honestly, all the messages I get of friends, family, friends of friends, wishing as well, has been absolutely outstanding. Um, and now I'm the, the new world champion. You know, we caught up with you for, for the interview. You said pressure, you know, creates diamonds. Are you are you surprised with how this this fight went? Went, or were you expecting Nat to, to bring it as hard as he did? I, I don't think he uh, pressured as much as you use yeah. use expected. He was very uh, moving back a lot. Obviously, expecting my takedown. I don't. Know. I think he expected us to be able to strike, but not to the extent which I can. And for us to win three rounds, I won an MMA fight. Uh, the, maybe the takedown stole us around, but when I took him down, I punished him. I took his back, went for a finish. I beat him up from on top, and I was winning a lot of the stand-up exchanges. He missed a lot more than me. Uh, he threw a lot more, but he missed a lot more. And guys can now see, always get asked, so uh, what's your striking like? That's what my striking's like. <laughs> You said you said you know that this was the, the most important fight of your career so far. But once you got in there with them, you guys were smiling and, and, and occasionally exchanging a few words. What were you saying to each other over those first couple of rounds? I think I said to him, uh, I said to my coach before I went out, we could die tomorrow. Um, I'm heavily influenced by uh, I, listen, I read a lot of his books, a guy called Robin Sharma, and I listen to his like his blogs, podcasts, and stuff. One of the things he says is. Would you regret the day if you were to die tomorrow? And I would never regret a day. I'm world champion now. And like, that's that's how I'm going to live my life. I'll never regret anything if I was to die tomorrow. I'm going to... Your Cage Warriors haven't had a title holder in this division since Jim Allers. You're no longer hunting the title. You're the guy with the, you know, the bullseye on his chest. Where do you expect to see your competition? You know, Two or three guys that you expect to see over the course of this year as you defend your title? I think the two obvious ones are Graham Turner and Martin Svensson. Um, I'm ready to fight either of those. I'm sure they're ready to fight me. They're both probably dying for the opportunity. And it's whoever I get to fight. Yeah. I'm not someone who's picked fight. I've never turned off, down a fight uh, when Ian Dean's asked us to fight. And I'll continue to do it. Now I'm the champion. I can't turn down a fight. I always think about when guys are champion, British champion at some local show that but are you the best in Britain? You're 2-0. No. Like, if you're a champion, it must mean you're 2-0 you're no and you're the British champion. Would you fight anyone in Britain? So, would you go fight this guy who's the number two in the in Britain? No, you wouldn't, right? So you're not the British champion. I'm the Cage Warriors world champion, and I will fight anybody in the world. You know, it was a 25-minute war. I heard you in another interview say, yeah, maybe I'll go back into the gym on Monday, maybe. How, realistically, how soon do you want to be able to defend that piece of gold? I think it'll um, February, March. I've just moved. I'm moving to a new house on uh, Monday. We've got the keys to day one. Had a look. Actually, I did. This will be the first thing that goes in the new house. <laughs> I'm going to put the banks back in the middle of the carpets. We're we'll taking a nice little photo. New house. New belt. New suit. You know, I came here dressed professionally, um, and I, I think I made an impression. You know, I, I, you know, a lot of people, Cage Warriors, gold, silverware, leads to bigger and better things after a couple of title defenses. I, I'm not taking nothing away from this, but I'm guessing this isn't the, this isn't the end point of the journey you're on. Uh, anything else apart from fighting a Cage Warriors is up to my management. I'll just defend the belt. I'll train. If I was to never fight again, I would still train. Like that's my. This is my life now. Um, Monday I'll be in the gym because I'll be coaching. I've got a, a young pro who's got his debut. Um, in four weeks and I feel like I haven't given him the attention he deserves so now I've got four weeks of like my undivided attention for him and the kid's going to be a killer so he's going to get he's going to get so much help you know a half an hour after the biggest fight of your career biggest win of your career you're still talking about other people is that you, is your, you're not just a fighter you're a martial artist without a doubt um, my sports psychologist tells us that altruism is one of my strengths um, it can also be my weakness if I don't turn it off so what I do and what Rob's really helped us do is I'm an athlete till 3 o'clock in the afternoon, then I'm a coach. And I'm a coach till I go to bed, I wake up an athlete. Yeah, and like that's how I split it. Coach business, I'm the worst businessman in the world. Like, 
I want to just make people better, and that's what I do. I'm coaching, and if anyone wants to train in May in the northeast, uh, I teach at Brinkburn Community Centre, six cents in May. Uh, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. There's a little uh, advert there. Look at you and getting the plugs listen, in, Mr. Uh, Peter Evans has been my coach for the last 18 months since he's been home. But apart from that, I've coached myself. I am the first world champion that I've coached from scratch. Alex, you know, I, my next question, is there anyone you want to give a shout-out to? Anyone you'd like to thank? And I'm sure there are, but, you know, what if you can sum up what this, what does this bell mean to you? Uh, it means the world to us, and it's, it just marks my achievements. It kind of shows I believe in myself. Uh, that was always something I struggled with. I was always the greatest guy, uh, like, in the gym I'd perform, and I'd always doubt myself just before a fight. And then I put some good performances in, and now I have this self-belief, like, yes, I am that good. Um, and I'll just keep showing that. And this shows how good I am. Alex, but I, I, I'm, I'm just so chuffed for you. A fantastic result. Is there anybody you'd like to give a shout-out to? Any sponsors you'd like to thank? Teammates, training partners who have helped you prepare for this, the biggest moment of your career? I'd like to thank Peter Irvin. He's helped us a lot. Uh, he always keeps us on the right track. Rob from Mindsport, obviously. All the guys at NEVT. I train with the best team in the UK, hands down. There's not a team like it anyway. The, like the Rough House was the dominant team. Dingy Ninjas were the dominant team. I think now, if you look at our roster, like we'll be the number one team. So long. Look at uh, young lads who come and train with us sometimes when he's not when he's not working during the day. Like Lewis Monarch. Lewis is going to be a star. Uh, I've got some of the young pros who train with me, who are novice pros who will eventually start training with. Us. It's it's going to boom. It's going to explode. You know. We've got right now. We've got myself. Kurt Walton's about to be a, a world champion potentially. You know. Uh, Liam James put in a hell of a performance tonight. Uh, Liam was on. Kai Redfin, yep. on. You know, um, the Northeast to hop out of five minutes right now. Alex, it's always a pleasure to watch you perform, even more so after a performance like that. Congratulations, Thank champ. You very much. We look forward to catching yeah, up with you before your next one. Speak soon. Thank you for Thank your you. time. Cheers.